in this section we are going to edit the profile view band so that we get a correct display of the data on the profile view bands so currently i have these profile view bands this uh, elevation data, data data elevation band and the cut fill data band here so i am going to edit these things so my i have two profiles one is the proposed profile I select this one this is proposed profile then i press escape and select this one this is the eg surface one it is the existing ground profile so i press escape again so uh, then i select the profile view then go to profile view properties from here then uh, what i do is i am going to change this data so i am moving back so first band that means this band we have the elevation and station data this is elevation data this is the station data then we have the cut data inside this band so i am going to here so your profile one means this data profile two means this data so for the profile one I will select my proposed profile data and for the profile 2 I am decreasing the size here so for the profile 2 I will increase here make sure your reading is 0 otherwise you won't see all the data properly so the second one also I am using the proposed profile so in the first tab from the first profile that means this profile one this is the proposed ground profile one this is the proposed ground and profile two this is the existing ground so these two data will be shown here and for the cut field data the first profile is Profile 1, this is the pro proposed profile, and the second profile is AG surface 1, that is the existing surface. So, what we do here is we are uh, subtracting profile 1, which is the proposed profile, and we are subtracting it, EG profile, and we are getting the difference actually from between the proposed profile and EG surface. So if it is a positive difference, it won't be a cut. If it is the negative difference, it will be a cut. Actually, what happens is uh, you get this profile value and minus get this profile value. That is what basically happens here. So I'll click OK. So you will see what happens here. Now you can see. Now this is my actually this is not a cut situation because this my proper ground is at a higher elevation and my existing ground is at a lower elevation so this is not a cut situation so the way we have defined it is wrong so i have to make it the other way but the other things we have uh, done correctly because this is the proposed elevation that means I will come here and show you. So this is 13.9 means the proposed profile elevation. 13.97 means the existing elevation at that location. So if you come to here, this is 13.65 is your exist proposed ground station which is underneath the ground and 14.028 uh, which is the existing ground elevation that is at a higher level these these two are the data shown here and this is the band data so we will modify this data because we should subtract existing ground and uh, we should get the difference first profile should be the ag one the second profile should be the proposed one to get the cut data so currently this shows as this cut data is actually the field data so i am going to change it i click ok click the profile view Go to profile view properties so my in this case my profile eg eg surface one is the first one and this is the second one so we will subtract this one from this one to get the cut data 
now you will see when your ground is when your uh, existing ground is below if existing ground is at a higher situation that that only we are get a cutting situation so at that situation you will get the details right so other details will be fill data uh, filling data it won't come here right so that is how to uh, complete the band in the profile view